Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be sick because I'm putting an air ride on the transporter. You haven't all seen the transporter that much on the channel. I haven't actually officially done a this is my van type video. Um, but we're going to get straight into it. We're going to air ride this thing. We're going to slam it to death. So you'll get to see the van in the process of putting the air ride on. I'm already late to Scotland, so I'm going to burn through this unboxing and drop the video out of nowhere. So here we have a box. Before we get started, don't forget, on owner right now, we've got a crazy deal. Free t-shirt with every single hoodie. The link is in the description. And we've got these brand new sports material hoodies. We've got grey, black, white and heather grey. We've got loads of new sportswear hoodies and they go in the deal. Free t-shirt, every single hoodie. Why would you not? So, we have the Air Ride box. This is 3P management from Air Ride. We have ABP struts, suspension. These are the actual airbags. On my VW Golf R, I used um, airlift performance struts and bags. This time round, we're using Plush Automotive's ABP kit. The short version as well. Let's get them off the way. And then we have one of the funnest parts of the build, which is the air tank. The difference between this build and my golf build is this build is happening at an air ride place. You all know S30 BMX, he was in the last BMX video on the channel. He's um, an air ride installer. Him and his business partner, Jordan, own Offset Auto House. The first thing I wanted to do is shout out Offset Auto House for hooking it up. Literally, follow them on socials, Offset Auto House. Um, you'll find them if you just type in Offset. It's that simple. And that's what we're going with today. So I have to be in Scotland by first thing tomorrow morning. So I'm going tonight, I'm staying there. By the time you're watching this video, I'm already there in Scotland. And we're about to air this thing out. This is not going to be the last unboxing. I'm going to unbox this thing. The next day after that, we're going to unbox Rotiform wheels, which are going on the van as well. So we're hitting the van built. Also, I just give away some cupboards for the transporter. So I'm going to be having a pretty mad transport a couple of weeks where we do um, wheels, air ride. I've got a U-bed for the back. I've got cupboards for the back. It's going to be banging after this. It's going to be crazy. This will be the only van to ever be finished on my channel. <laughs> there you go. So let's get into it. Let's open the air tank. We've got cable cutters. This is exciting. Now the difference between number one, the air ride's going to be installed by people and me. So I'm getting involved in the air ride build. But there's a couple of differences. Number one, we're cutting the van up, so we're notching all the chassis so that it sits on the ground. It's gonna be super low. We're notching it, which is like cutting parts out that make contact. So as you air a car out, the drive shafts, as an example, hit the frame. We're gonna cut little U's out of the frame so that it slams right up high. It's gonna be low, 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 low. It's gonna transform the van. The other difference is obviously I'm installing it the other difference is obviously I'm installing it with professionals, which is going to be absolutely silky smooth, I would imagine. Um, the other difference is in the Golf R, a lot of the build goes inside the van, inside the car. On the transport or the management, the struts and the tank is all going outside the car. So underneath the van tucked away. Um, it's going to be an interesting build. I'm very excited. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. It's gonna be sick. So, here we go. The tank. I've had this, this set up in my living room for a month, and I've wanted to unbox it for a month. You don't understand how hard this has been, but I wanted to wait for the video for a natural reaction. I have no idea what color my tank is. I think it's polished. I think it's polished. Let's get rid of the cardboard. Looks polished from here. What do you guys think? The, um, I'm going to try and be super careful with the packaging because I have to take this to Scotland for tomorrow. And as you imagine, they will go crazy if I get it wrong. What if it's bigger than my golf one? Seems bigger. Oh, also, 
mine's quarter, quarter inch lines. This is going to be on three eight lines, so look at that, so that's stainless air tank. Look at that, for all the bits and pieces. That's insane. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. The air build for the transporter is gonna go off. So I'm guessing they mount it underneath like this somewhere. We will find out more at Offset Auto House. So for now, the air tank is going back in here and out the way. It's done. We're gonna go management next. Lift management is the daddy, obviously. So we've obviously gone airlift management. I need to remember everything. Steve will go ballistic if I don't. I'm excited to see what Plush's kit's like. Obviously, since my last air install, things have escalated with the air ride. So we've got some random bits and pieces, some little adapters, bolts, tiny bit of spare line. We're going to keep that safe to one side. Nice compressor. How did I forget the compressor? That's insane. So, I wonder if it's the same compressor as my last one. So we've got compressor, we've got springs, bags, that's going back in there. We've got the filter, we've got sponges, silencers, I'm pretty sure that's what they are. And then we've got compress air, actually, with a black hose, like mint. Jeez, I feel like that's a better compressor. Now, a lot of people who bag transporters, they actually go dual compressor. But I want to try it without a dual compressor. I know it's a bit slower, but it's way, way cheaper. So I've gone single compressor. I'm just going to see how long it sort of puts up with it. Um, I think it'll be fine. So there you go. Compressor, single compressor. Obviously your ignition lines. And we've got a random bit of 3.8 hose. Sick that. That's going to go in there. That's going to go in there. Obviously them as well. I'll put them in with that. Done. We've got a bunch of bolts as well. Check it. The management. The manifold is about to come out. This is going to be the good part. Trust. Trust me when I tell you that. All you air fanatics, you're going to want to see this. Dual boxes inside a box. Two boxes in one box. That's my filter, hoses. So that's all my lines. I'm actually going to leave these inside the box. I don't want to. I don't want to lose these, so I'm going to leave these inside the box. This is basically my lines, all my electrics, everything we need inside that box. I'm not even going to take a single thing out of that. Loads of bits and pieces. We're going to leave that safe to one side. Now the fun part starts now. That sounds like there's something in it. The holy grail. 3P. The holy grail. 3.8 3P manifold. This is insane. I can't believe we're airing the transporter out. Controller beast. Check it. Controller beast. Put that back in its box. Living the dream. The manifold. Shit. 
Jeez. Three eights manifold. Look how wide that is. <laughs> Look at that. That is insane. Airlift performance. Three P manifold. It's a beast. Brand new. Freshy. We've got electric bits, some stuff there. I'm not going to mess with that too much. So we've got 3P management. We've got remote, compressor, lines, tank. Now for the fun part. Let's unbox the struts and the bags. That's what we're all here to see. Let's be honest. That's what we're here to see. Let's have a look. This is going to be insane. Let's have a look. I've been trying to unbox this for about a month. <laughs> it looks insane. So it's Bill Stein suspension with plush ABP bags on it. It's crazy. That is crazy. Crazy. So they're separate to the rear. So the rear has normal Bill Stein struts, like so. I'm going to be super careful here, I don't want to lose anything because I've got to go to Scotland and do this. So the rear has, wow, Bill Stein rear struts, as you can see there. Beasts. So they're the rear struts. Obviously they run individually and then the bag will be next to it like when, when I did my Mark 7. For any of you who have tuned in from the VW transport a title and thumbnail and you're more into your van content than your car content, I actually DIY installed my air ride on my Mark 7 Golf R and it's on my channel. If you check that out, just type in Harry Main air ride and you'll see it. Um, so there you go. So we've got two of them. They're the bottom ones, and then we've got the rear bags, which are massive compared to the golf ones. Oh my god! Obviously, the extra weight, but that's crazy. Jeez! High end. They look great. So these are the shorty ones, check that, that is an insane build quality, like actually insane. It's actually continental as well, look, continental on the rubber. How insane are they? High end, that's what they look like, so, so like machined. I'm not going to unbox the other bag. We only really need to see one, don't we? Let's be honest. That's crazy. They are crazy. They're the rear bags. So for those of you who don't know who are watching the channel, probably thinking, what the hell is he talking about? All this runs on electric. You press a button and the weight of the van drops all the air out of it. So it, the button lets it go out and then the van slams. If you'd imagine that's how much lower the van's going to be, which is crazy. So the van's going to go from being like that, to like these touching. If you ask me, that's pretty crazy. Now for the fun part, the front bags. Jesus, they're massive. I'm going to undo one, like this. I'll show you. Look at them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Air freshener for ABP. That's to let people know you're on the posh stuff. And they smell good. Right, so these are ridiculous bags. Let me get this out of the way. These are the fun part. These are the front bags, look at these. So normally these are probably that wide and these are like 
So no, that's like that's probably how wide like a normal bag would be. And that's how wide they are. They look like they're for a bus or something. Well, they are for a bus, a VW Transporter bus. But yeah, there you go. So ABP, Bill Stein Shocks, Continental, Rubber on the ABP bags. They look mental. Absolutely mental. So you've got to think, yeah, it's going to be that much shorter. It's going to go and crush to like that. Can't wait to see what it looks like. These are this is the short kit. So you have the shorty kit from ABP. So this is the super slammed one. It's a bit like Slam series on air ride where it's just ready to be slammed. But that's what this is. So there you go. That's the full transporter T5 airlift ABP kit. And we are ready for install. Make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you drop a comment below this video with any suggestions, ideas. Make sure you tune back in for the next video where I'm going to be showing and revealing my next wheels. I'm going to get them out at the side of the van somewhere tomorrow morning. I'm going to get a video showing you my new wheels. It's going to be insane. I might do four back-to-back -back uploads on YouTube of my whole air ride build. That could be pretty cool. So there you go. That's my air ride done, unboxed and shown. I'm about to literally put this stuff in my van. Drive straight to Offset. It's Thursday when you're watching this video. It's Thursday when I'm filming this video. It's Friday when you're watching this video. By the time you guys see this video, we're well underway. Make sure you go and check out my Instagram. There'll probably be more up-to-date stuff as I'm storying throughout the day. Um, and obviously, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, don't forget we've got loads of brand new sportswear hoodies on owner. You get a free t-shirt with every single hoodie. So add your hoodie to your basket. Add your t-shirt to your basket and you'll get your t-shirt for nothing on checkout. So get involved, pick your favourite stuff and thanks for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shout out Offset Auto House for hooking it up with an incredible deal for air ride on the transporter. And until next time, see you in the future. Peace out.